<laughs> it's good to see you again. Pull up a chair by the hearth. Doth the Plague Bringer! Nothing can defeat Noth. Your life is forfeit. <laughs> Hey there everyone, it is Aaron from InputDelay.com and I'm going to be welcoming you back for another Hearthstone Heroic Naxxramas Guide. Today we're going to be showcasing Noth, the Plaguebringer, and in this video you're going to see some tactics that he's going to be using against you, a deck to counter them and how it's used, and some other tips and tricks. After we're done with that, we're going to move it over to some footage of our winning fight against Noth so that you can get an idea of how it works. Here we go. Noth's Hearthstone reincarnation has two callbacks to his original appearance in the Naxxramas raid in World of Warcraft. And these are his hero ability, Raise Dead, and the card Plague. But first let's look at the hero power. Raise Dead is a zero mana cost passive ability that allows Noth to summon a 5 attack, 5 health skeleton whenever one of your minions dies. His card Plague is unique to him alone and will destroy all non-skeleton minions on the board for 6 mana. Noth also has three secrets at his disposal, so keep these in mind. And these are going to be Counterspell, Duplicate, and Ice Block. So please remember these, and play around them if you can. As far as minions are concerned, Noth's deck is focused on control rather than aggressive play, but he doesn't really have any large bodies to enforce that. Rather, he's going to rely on his Raised Dead ability to do that for him. Though he does have Abomination and Necronite, both with decent damage output, but both can really be used against him. The deck we chose to counter Noth's douchebaggery was Zeto's, Zeto's, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, but Zeto's anti Noth Priest deck. Our version of this deck is going to cost you about 960 dust, rather than the more expensive version that you're going to find in the link in the description below. What we've done is we've swapped out Alexstrasza for May Exna to bring the cost down and to also make us feel a little bit better about ourselves for using a deck without her overpowered ability. The general overview with this deck is to keep your minions alive. Noth's hero power is going to punish you very severely for allowing them to die, so most of your cards are designed to keep your peeps on the board. Also notice that you don't have all that many peeps, so you don't have to worry about protecting a ton of them. Your focus is really on spells and removals for defense, and then one or two big buffed minions for offense. For your mulligan phase, keep an eye out for your Lightwell, Northshire Cleric, and Inner Fire. That Lightwell can be the most powerful card in this deck if you get it out early and can keep it protected. Noth has no hard removal other than Plague, so it can be very difficult for him to kill without large minions on his side. The variety of heals and buffs at your disposal include Circle of Healing for a mass rejuvenation, Divine Spirit, and the Lightwell that we discussed earlier. Don't forget your hero power as well. You are a priest, so that is very key. Since you'll be focusing on healing your minions as much as possible, North Tower Cleric is going to get you through your deck to the stuff that you need the most. She will need defending though, with only 3 health, and a resurrected skeleton looks to be in her future with that low defense. And that's why that inner fire is really important, especially in the early game. You don't have a whole lot of early game minions. North Tower Cleric is very important during the beginning of the game, and that early fire can really keep her on the board for as long as possible. Also, you have cards like Power Word Shield and Temple Enforcer to keep your minions in good shape. Also, keep an eye out for Noth's Mortal Coils. Having a minion at one health, even with no minions on his side, can mean imminent death and a loss of board control in the blink of an eye. You'll go from having a minion to having a 5-5 minion on the other side with nothing to defend yourself. To keep that board control, you have Shadow Word Pains and Shadow Word Deaths, as well as Holy Smite cards to kill his minions without needing to trade out yours. Holy Nova is also a very good AoE, and especially useful here for its ability to heal your minions all across the board, as well as doing two to everything else. One combo to also keep in mind is the Light Spawn plus Divine Spirit combo, and that's a card that's going to be unkillable. Of course, he can bring out his Plague, but aside from that, there's really nothing that he can do with that huge Light Spawn out there, and it's a very good finishing card. So there you go. Get out there and kick some plague ass. And remember that no matter how well this deck is suited for this fight, there's always going to be some losses. So push past them and try again. We have faith. So here we go. After a failed attempt, after a failed 20 attempts with Warrior, I'm back and I'm going to try out the Priest deck. And Nick, let's see, let's see how this one works. I mean, 
Priest is master class. Especially in Nex. Yeah. Priest is super OP. Just counters everything very, very well. Which Mostly is, because it's just you're so well sustained. You know, you can just oh, keep yeah. healing yourself, and that's. Oh damn! Play the legendary on turn one. You're yeah. fucked. Fuck not. He's just. He is the worst. You know what's uh, really interesting? Mm -hmm. um, like, content knacks like when it first came out in Vanilla WoW. Mm -hmm. Paladins had this ability called Exorcism, and it did more damage to undead. So they just did. A massive amount of damage to people, but then it's funny that priest is powerful in the card game. Yeah, well, I, it goes back and forth. I mean, sometimes priest is just useless, and I think at this point, paladin is definitely weaker than priest. But I think there was a time not that long ago that paladin was the, yeah. the, the preferable class. Control so. mid pally, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, and I like that the game works in that fashion. That you sort of have these meta swings where you know, a card change or a new cards can really, you know, uh, change your perspective on the class that you're using. Maybe you thought that this class was weak and they bring out a new card and all of a sudden it's viable again. So, right. so you'll see that um, I just had really, really favorable draws. Oh, yeah, amazing. Got the light spawn out there, buffed him up uh, so that <laughs> he was... He was able to... Just coming out swinging. Just get a huge amount of health. Uh, and because of that, and because of his ability, uh, a huge amount of attack as well. And uh, you see I have another one sitting there in my hand, so if something goes awry and this does not work, uh, I can do another one. And then look, I got a Divine Spirit, so I can double his health again, and then I'm just going to smash him in the face for 32 damage. And... Um, yeah, so after like an hour of bashing my head against the wall with a warrior, I played with a priest for a good three minutes and kicked his ass. So, I mean, yeah, that was frustrating. But it was easy. At least there's no too long to read here, but guys, priest, masterclass. Yeah, seriously, do it. Good Have luck. Fun.